Yes, it is true that U.S. Congressman Tom Emmer is co-leading the SEC stabilization bill in an effort to fire the chairman, Gary Gensler. But not before, guys. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button, comment down below if you find this all helpful. Let's get on and see what is happening with the markets today yes the sec is getting a lot of heat guys they're putting a flame to their feet now mr emmer and mr davidson have been uh really going pretty hard at at the sec for what they've been doing what they've been up to and uh they've got an entire restructuring of the sec it was introduced in june 12 2023 and uh, let's go ahead and take a look at some of what is it, it implies, the restructuring. But first, let's go ahead and take a look at your price charts, guys. Let's go ahead and take a look at your price charts before we get into the spicy SEC news. Look at that guy. We're down 3% down today, 406.3%. Uh, for Pulse Chain, down 3% on Pulse X, 40 is 1.7, uh, 60.7 cents for Incentive Token, down 2.77%, and uh, P Hex down 3.78% today. Uh, e Hex is uh, 20 is 5.1. One T share, guys, $305. Payout per T share is 6.6 .6 cents. 9.73% is currently staked, which has gone down uh from uh 9.78 percent last week uh, over on ethereum uh 160 for a t-share 3.4 cents is your payout per t-share and 9.31 percent is currently staked bitcoin is at 2.11 percent down today 42,557 dollars and looks like the macd is crossed over and continuing to go downwards where do you guys see this going uh, in the long term, uh, I'm guessing at least 40,228, but I have no idea. You know, no financial advice. This is TA, but looks like, you know, maybe the, this is support right here where it came down last time, somewhere in about 40, 40,000 range, 40,000 to 40, 40,500, which would, uh, you know, bounce off the support line. So there you guys go. Ethereum down uh, w about 1% today. Had a huge candle going from 2,451 all the way back down to $2,361. Uh, these guys, I don't think, I mean, the MACD is crossed over for them. Ethereum might be getting a good good old pump. It might come down to $2,300 around there. But if it doesn't, hey, it probably won't. As TA doesn't tell you anything, but uh, where the price is at. The S&P up 0.16% today. NASDAQ 0.15%. Dow Jones 0.2%. And the dollar do even up 0.33%. All right, let's go take a look at some of this bill that we were talking about at first. The SEC is finally getting some uh, fi fire under their feet. They're starting to get a little bit of uh, flack from people in the House of Representatives. They want to amend the Securities Exchange of 1934 to expand and restructure the leadership of the Securities and Exchange Commission and for other purposes. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of this and summarize it down for you guys. So you guys, so it's a, a little bit more compacted into uh, understanding what uh, they, they, they want to do with it. So, uh, to, so what they want to do is increase the number of commissioners from five to six. Uh, they want to actually extend the terms uh from five to six years uh the staggered terms they want to have staggered terms terms of commissioners staggered with two commissioners uh terms ending every two years and political diversity so they don't want to they want to have two, no two commissioners with terms ending on the same date can be from the same political party and the decision making majority vote required for rulemaking, enforcement action, or investigation. Uh, president to appoint first members post enactment, ensuring two commissioners' terms end every two years. So the appointment would be appointed by the commissioners. The role limitation is former chairman of the commission cannot serve as the executive director. Removal possible through so that you can actually remove uh, somebody as the director or the uh, commissioner, excuse me as uh through majority vote of all the commissioners overseeing commission operations so this is what their job would entail guys overseeing commission operations including employee hiring compensation delegation of function establishing non-section 552 ruling and uh, other internal matters uh direct reports so employees reporting to the chairman will now report to the executive uh, director instead and the executive director uh to provide reports to all the commissioners uh does so the exception does not apply to employees in the commissioner's personal office uh so they are going to tell them uh even how many meetings they have me monthly meetings between the executive director and commissioner and uh meeting minutes to be made public 
Additional meetings can be called th by three or more commissioners. This bill aims to enhance the structure and functioning of the SEC by increasing the number of commissioners, ensuring political diversity, and adding a new rule of the executive director to streamline operations and decision-making properties. Uh, so they're trying to make the SEC a little bit more as like a company, right? They've got a hierarchy. It sounds like it's kind of uh, chaos over there. Uh, they're, they're giving them, you know, this is how it should be ran. Uh, and hopefully the house actually passes this. So you guys might ask, uh, what would happen to Mr. Gary Gensler? Well, well, they're trying to get commissioners in there, five to six commissioners, uh, instead of somebody like Gary Gensler that just, uh, you know, is the dictator over there. So the, this act is actually pretty good because it, 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 it stipulates that any rulemaking enforcement action or investigation can only be performed if the majority of the commissioners have voted on it. So that takes, you know, the majority. So they would have to get three, three of the six or three of the five to vote on the action. And then they could actually, uh, enforce the rule which still doesn't mean that it's uh, uh can't go to the courts uh and and so forth so this might impact how uh the sec actually goes about rulemaking and this would also make how decisions are made under uh gary gensler still it would have to have more consensus with the commissioners to actually approve something instead of just one person so pretty much gary gensler would uh retain his position at this as the chair of the sec uh but it would introduce changes that could impact the structure and the functioning of the sec uh during his uh, time that he's uh with them his tenure including all the decision making processes political balance and operational management so if you guys find that this is a good idea you know hit me up in the comments let me know what you guys think about this this bill hopefully mr Emmer and davidson actually gets it uh, approved because uh, man we do need some a, a little bit better oversight and maybe a little bit more consensus with how things are being ran over there right speaking of the sec guys the polls petition if you go over to pulsepetition.org uh there is an amicus brief pulse chain hex petition for the amicus brief for the sec uh it has gotten total 41,401 signatures currently uh which is crazy so if you guys want to uh you know they're saying defending blockchain technology as freedom of speech uh there you guys go go over to pulsepetition.org sign sign up for it guys this is uh pretty pretty awesome that 41,000 have signed the the petition uh and i'll leave you guys here with this hex hash dash just drops its newest edition for the bitcoin etf an idea whose time has come here you guys go you know it's amazing to me the tremendous impact that the home computers have had on on everyone and yet it seems the people i've talked to say that it takes you longer to do something by putting it into a computer and calling it up again than if you just kept simple records yourself in the house. So there you guys go. What do you guys think about the commercial? Uh, you know, they all, obviously that's how they thought back then in the 80s or 90s whenever this uh, was taken. But man there's so many people oh i don't need a pc why don't i just keep my uh documents here oh i don't need i don't need a credit card i can just use my dollars right and then credit cards come oh i don't need uh dollars i got my credit card oh i don't need bitcoin now i got i got my credit card i don't need uh any cryptocurrency i got credit cards guys they they can't shut those off right they can't just shut those off at a whim well obviously they can they can shut your bank account down and uh yikes yikes when that day comes but with hex with pulse chain with pulse x they cannot shut you down they cannot censor your transactions and that's one of the most amazing things uh that uh cryptocurrency actually does for us so uh that's all i got for you guys hopefully everybody had a great day hopefully you guys uh hit the like subscribe and i will see you guys tomorrow see you guys